You. The abortion battleground moves to the state capitol tomorrow. That's where the state's highest court will hear oral arguments on whether or not to let voters decide abortion rights. West 2 News political reporter Greg Fox here with us. And Greg, we're still waiting for the same court to rule on the state's abortion ban. It sounds con confusing, so yes. let's try to walk everybody through this. You know, the uh, Florida Supreme Court has yet to decide if a 15-week abortion ban is going to stand. If it agrees, a six week ban will then take place. Now we move on to what's going to go on and be discussed tomorrow. If given the chance in November, voters, not politicians, would have the power to guarantee abortion rights. Funded largely by Planned Parenthood and the American Civil Liberties Union, the $15 million campaign to enshrine abortion rights in the state constitution has amassed one and a half million signatures and support. In November, Attorney General Ashley Moody formally rejected it, calling the language misleading. Let's look at the amendment to limit government interference with abortion, which is sponsored by the committee Floridians Protecting Freedom. It reads, no law shall prohibit, penalize, delay, or restrict abortion before viability or when necessary to protect the patient's health as determined by the patient's health care provider. The medical community considers fetal viability to be 24 weeks, though abortion opponents say it's much earlier. Now a state Supreme Court, including five justices appointed by Republican Governor Ron DeSantis, will decide if the abortion measure goes to voters in November. The arguments will have the medical community for it. Our patients should get their medical advice from their doctors, not from politicians and judges. Pro-life groups against it. The Florida Constitution requires two things. A ballot initiative cannot be misleading and it cannot cover more than one subject. This one clearly fails both. Lawmakers we talked with weighed in. I'm personally pro-life, but at the same time, this is a very contra controversial issue. If 60% of the people plus one uh, decide that we should uh, outlaw it, then we got to listen to the people that elected us. Our neighbors did the work. They signed petitions. I signed mine and we deserve to vote on this issue. Nothing else. Nothing else is acceptable. Abortion rights opponents argue that passing this proposed amendment will increase the number of later term abortions. But according to the state's own records, during the last three years, just six to 10 percent of abortions in Florida occurred in the second trimester and none in the third. Oral arguments at the state Supreme Court begin at 9 a.m. Michelle. All right, Greg, thank you. Me